Hey everyone, um, we're on the move again. So, as I've described before, the animals um, are in training for regular moves, um, almost you know daily. Right now, they're on three or four day moves in paddocks that are way larger than they need. Yeah, and I've got hay in my hand, which looks pretty good. This is the first time they've paid attention to me as I've come about to move them. While I was uh, rearranging the uh, water trough and the electric fence, they've had their heads up looking at me. So, still watching me, probably watching the hay. It's a flap of hay. It's about one-tenth of a uh, small bale of hay. So we're going to go through this gate down here where I've removed a line of electric fence. There's a physical boundary here, as well as the electric fence. And the plan is to get them to go through here and then into this paddock in, well, it's a paddock in another paddock. It's part of, it's an allocation of uh, forage for them. Way more than two animals need. But I'm just getting used to myself understanding how, how they'll move and for them to understand that moving isn't a bad thing. And maybe, just maybe, here they come. There's a leader in this gang, and all I'm doing right now is waving this hay. And here they come, and see how they get through this gate. Because leader, he'll come. And the little follower, who I affectionately refer to as Bubbles, he's not so sure. Now, I went round the corner there, and that sometimes doesn't help. But we'll see. It takes time. This video has only been running for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Peel off a bit of hay. It doesn't have to be much, it can be handfuls. If you were a skinflint, you wouldn't even have to use all of it if they come through. But... Bubbles... Definitely might need this reassurance. He's at the back there. I can tell by his uh, belt. Now remember, the curiosity is that they would have got zapped before because there was power there. And that'll stop them. It's been stopping them. So the leader is through. And there, successfully, maybe, he's got his shoulders through. Have a tug of that, might you go back over. <laughs> oh, steady boys, steady boys. There, jobs are good. Now there's a physical gate that I need to be able to close. There's no back fence here, but there's a fence in front of them. And there we are, we've moved them. Three minutes, 45 seconds. And I've still got most of that flap of grass under my arm. Now, cattle will move and they'll check out the perimeter. And they're gonna go and look. And what you don't want is for them to march through the electric fence. Hopefully by now, they don't go close to it. In the background, you might be able to hear a woodpecker try and stop talking when he's uh, working on a tree. So this area in total, oh there he goes, this area in total of physical fence is about an acre. Then I've divided that in half, ish. And there we are. Clean pasture. It's winter so it's not the same as eating. What you would aim to have them do is eat a third of a plant trample a third of it and leave a third of it so it grows more rapidly. It gets more photosynthesis, there's that word, um, because there's more of it left to regrow and it regrows faster than were it eaten down like a billiard table. 
but it's winter. There's still some greens in here, but a lot of it's laying over. It's not going to grow. Temperatures are too cold for it to grow. There's woody. So yeah, there you go. Just got to close up, keep an eye on them for a bit. Good work. I'm pleased with that. All right, got a question about what all this is about? Let me know. Uh, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All those uh, contact details are in the uh, details below the video. And I'll post this up on YouTube and uh, elsewhere. Thanks a lot. Bye now.